everyone welcome back oh my gosh guys i don't even know what to say i have had just such a roller coaster of a week with the launch and like the build up and everything like i just didn't know what to film today i just thought everything would just feel so insignificant compared to like basically the biggest week of my life um last week so um yeah today i thought we just have like a really nice q a catch up because i never do that i never like really chat to you guys and i just feel like there's so much to talk about it feels so amazing to have this big like secret that's just out that i've been keeping for like a year and a half desperate to share with you and it's all else in the open and now I just literally feel like I can breathe again. So I put a little question box on Instagram for you guys and you had so many questions for me. So yeah, I thought we would just sit and have a lovely chat, a cute little day at home vlog because also today, something I completely forgot about with like the build up of Flossie. It also feels so weird to be able to say Flossie because it was just like this big secret for so long. But with all the build up of Flossie, I completely forgot that I'm actually going away on Friday. I'm going to Disneyland, Florida with Josie and I'm just like oh it's just like the best month of my life honestly it's amazing um, and I'm packing and honestly the packing is like elite level at the moment like the outfits are so good that I just had to show you because we're doing like a Disneyland stint we're also doing a few days on the new Disney cruise um and we're also having a couple of nights in Palm Beach which is so mine and Josie's vibe we're so excited um and the outfits are on point so here is oh my god Cinderella Stop it. Here is the packing situation and are you not just in love with the vibe? This vibe is everything. Palm Beach, just girly pinks with a little bit of green. Okay, so I'll talk you through um, some of the dresses. So I've got my River Island play suit that I got a few years ago. Of course, my new Zimmerman dress that I have only worn once in Dubai. I feel like this is so spot on, especially for Palm Beach, um, like the colors and everything. I've also got this, which is new. I just actually got gifted it from Love Shack Fancy. And it's so pretty. It's like a little kind of backless, um, cute little dress i just love the colors and oh my god the rose pattern is so so pretty and they also gave me these amazing sunglasses in the cutest little um case that's kind of like a bag i'm literally obsessed with it and just wait till you see them oh my god you're gonna die i mean have you actually ever seen anything like that before oh my god that's so so cute I'll link them down below for you guys. Um, then of course my pink Zimmerman dress, which is the same as the leafy one. I've worn this a bit more. I wore this to my cousin's wedding. And then the last like new piece is this dress from LK Bennett. And they did actually gift this to me as well. I went into store just to pick out a couple of pieces and I tried it on and it was kind of like a wild card because normally I don't really like a long dress, but I put it on with some of their like lace up wedges and a big hat. And it just looked so glamorous that I couldn't cope. So I was like, I just have to have it. Then shoe and accessory wise, and um, also please excuse my rug. I've been meaning to replace it for like a month now. You know when the texture is just not good, like it was kind of cheap and it's just not very nice anymore. So please ignore that. But um, the shoe and accessory choices, I'm so excited by. I'm just going so fun and so pink and summery. So we've got my Tory Burch um, crochet slingbacks. I've actually been wearing these a lot recently. Um, they're so, so cute. I've also got my Kate Spade bow wedges, which are just a classic. My pink Gucci sandals, which I feel like do not get enough wear for like how actually wearable they are. They're just so adorable. So excited to take those. These really cool um, new chunky heels that I was also gifted from LK Bennett. Um, will look so cool with like this dress for example and my castanier wedges which do not get enough wear again for how just classic and wearable they are these will look so beautiful with the long dress or literally any of the Zimmerman dresses and they're so so comfortable as well I'll also take a pair of flats probably my pink um, or my brown June sliders of course and a pair of comfortable trainers like my adidas Stan Smiths for Disneyland and then for bags I'm going to take my Lillian Bean tote because this is just really great like especially if we're going to be just traveling around to throw all the essentials in. Um, I just love it so much. It's the Dior dupe and they don't sell it anymore. Then I'm also taking my new D&G crochet little shoulder bag, which I just think is so spectacular. It is literally a work of art. Like look at all of the detail and I'm so excited that it's going to really get its moment on this trip, hopefully. I also picked up this hat the other day um, at And Other Stories. I just thought it was so cute. It's a bit grandma-ish. Um, but I think like if it's styled properly, it could look really, really chic. I also actually ordered like a big wide brim hat from Farfetch. 
um, but hasn't arrived yet. Um, so I'm also taking my Prada beach bag because again, like this to me is just like a fun holiday bag and I just think Florida Palm Beach is the perfect, perfect setting for this bag. Um, and then I also made a few orders on Farfetch um, just because, you know, with the success of the launch and everything, I thought I could maybe treat myself to something small. So I picked out these three bags and I need you guys to help me decide. We've got this one which I actually um, featured in a video before and sent it back because I was like, I don't need this bag. Like this is such a want, not a need, but it is absolutely adorable. I just love the color so much. Love the top handle. I just feel like it's so me. And then I also ordered two bags from this really adorable brand called Vimina, which I hadn't heard of before. It's from um, Beirut. So maybe that's why I hadn't heard of it, but it was on Farfetch and they had the most adorable bags you've ever seen. Um, and they were on sale as well. And Farfetch had like an extra 15% off all sale items. So here is the first one. Oh, it's so adorable. I absolutely love it. And I wanted to order this because I love a pearl bag, but the pearl bags that I have are very much like you have to hold them and that's not like super convenient. So I thought that this would be really cute because it could just like tuck under the shoulder. Like how pretty is that? Oh my gosh. And look at this one. Look how adorable it is. It's like really lovely little gold beads. Um, and again, it's a little top handle tote. So I feel like it's not actually very convenient. And this one is a lot more practical and kind of what I was looking for. Whereas maybe this would be a little bit of a silly purchase. So I think like for me, it's between this one and the pink, um, although the pearl was a lot more affordable. So less of a splurge. Um, but what do you guys think? I will keep hold of both until I've read your comments. This is how the hat looks on. I think it's so cute. It's such like a vintage vibe. Um, is it a bit hard to style hats with a fringe? Like if anyone has any tips, please let me know. Do you like the fringe hangout or do you just say goodbye to the fringe um, for the whole day? And commit to the hat and of course i want to take my flossy dresses i'm probably not going to take the cocoa actually because um it's not really the vibe of the trip but i am going to dinner in the theater with my friend tonight so i actually think i'm going to wear my cocoa tonight i'm definitely going to pack the beautiful fey guys just look at the detail on this dress it's just magnificent like it's so intricate and the quality is so beautiful like you can just look at the shoulders and of course my gorgeous nelly dress i'm gonna take this to maybe wear to one of the dinners on the cruise and then i just have a couple of extra options for disney like daytime i'm gonna take my abercrombie dress because this is so comfortable to wear um and it looks so cute and it's kind of gonna channel aurora a little bit i think with my fringe and then also for um like one of the cruise days i think we get off at like a really lovely hot island so i'm gonna take the zimmerman shorts of course a classic with this really beautiful um like linen off shoulder puff sleeve blouse from Cara Millen. Speaking of Cara Millen, I did place an order last night um, with next day delivery just for some extra bits to try on. Um, so let's open this and try them on. Okay guys, this is the first outfit and it is so adorable. It's a little matching set, like a little two piece and it's so, so similar to my, I can literally never say the designer, BC... BCBG Maxazria. Basically that little blue um, two piece that I got in Palm Springs. This is very, very similar. In fact, the skirt is actually almost identical. It's got that really lovely like structured panels around the hips. And then it just kind of like flares out into these fluted pleats. And so you just get that really lovely movement in the skirt and it's so feminine and pretty. And then the top, I think I actually prefer to um, my blue one because it's more of like a corset style top. Um, so pretty, so flattering. I love the thick straps and like the sweetheart neckline. I just think it's so pretty, so flattering, comfortable. It'll be so cute to wear at Disneyland with my Minnie Mouse ears and even just like some trainers. I'll just be really comfortable and look super, super cute. And I just think like this is such a perfect summer outfit. Like I would just get so much wear out of this. I'm so happy I ordered it. Oh my gosh, I actually just had to, I couldn't resist styling it up with a little bit of pink. I popped on my um, pink Gucci sandals and the new pink bag and they look so adorable together but maybe it's a reason to keep the pink bag. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, this is just such a dream of an outfit, obsessed with the skirt and the top. Just love a co-ord as well because you just feel so put together, but it's like solo effort. Oh my gosh, guys, you are going to absolutely love this dress. Look how precious it is. It's a little bit different, like color-wise, I guess, to what I would normally go for, 
but I just couldn't ignore it because it's so pretty. So this is actually one of Lydia Millen's um, collaboration pieces with Karen Millen and it really is just to die for. Such a beautiful design. I love the shape and just look at the scene. It's a beach scene. It's so adorable and I really actually love all of the colours and I feel like I have been experimenting a bit recently like not a lot but a little bit right guys compared to how I usually am like with colour and I just really think this is so lovely like this beautiful sky blue I love the neckline I love the sleeves um the pattern is so precious the only thing is it's really really big on me I'm definitely going to order this again in the correct size and um, I'll still be able to get it before the trip hopefully um if it comes in time but yeah, I just think this is so, so beautiful. Um, I'm just going to pop on some wedges and grab a bag. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I feel like I haven't done any like epic summer looks in a while because I just haven't been anywhere to really like let them shine. Um, but this is so amazing. I love this dress. Need to order it ASAP in the size down. Um, but Lydia clearly has an amazing eye for design um, because this is so pretty. And I'm glad that I've kind of somewhat gone out of my comfort zone with the colour because I feel so nice in it. <laughs> Are you having fun playing with that dress? Are you having fun? <laughs> so the last dress I ordered was a little bit of a wild card, um, colour-wise and style-wise, but the model just looked so beautiful in this on the website that it really just made me want to order it and just at least try it on because it was also kind of giving me Cinderella vibes and I was thinking maybe this could be a nice cruise outfit. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I know what is happening to Freddie. Um, another long dress, I know, maybe I'm just growing up. I think I am getting more used to the size of myself in longer silhouettes, but I feel like I always have to pair them with really, really high heels. Um, so I've just actually popped those LK Bennett ones on um, because I feel like they balance it out a little bit with the little pearl bag. But this dress is just stunning. Stunning, like oh my god, the way that it fits and just the whole structure and silhouette of it is so flattering and so like so feminine. It really does give me a little bit of a vintage vibe as well. Kind of like a I don't know, like a 1950s with this really, really full skirt. Um, I absolutely love it, and I like how the top half is quite like it's not like corset structured, but it's kind of got that type of um design with this really lovely gold belt um, and these are fabulous pleats in the skirt. I feel like it's perfect for the Disney cruise because it has that cruise resort type of style but then the Cinderella blue just gives it that Disney nod. So I think this is perfect and I'm so glad I took the chance. Um, it's so comfortable as well. The fabric is lovely, it's a linen blend but sometimes I actually prefer linen blends to 100% linen because it's a bit softer it usually doesn't crease as badly either um, if it's not 100% linen. So yeah, what do you guys think? I'm really glad that I went for this. I feel really, really nice in it. Character development. <laughs> Do you know what guys, trying on clothes with you is so much fun, so I'm just going to show you the other pieces that you haven't seen yet on my channel. So um, this is the Love Shack Clancy dress, and this is going to be so perfect for the island day on the cruise. Love Shack Clancy is such an island girl brand, like I love their dresses, but for me they're very much like holiday, hot destination um, pieces, they're never really things that I would wear in London. So next is the fabulous LK Bennett dress. Isn't that just absolutely, just charming? It's a charming dress, like it just fits so beautifully. It's so flattering, it gives me vintage vibes. Did anyone actually take my recommendation last year and go and see The Last Letter From Your Lover? Because if you've seen that film, it's all set in like the French Riviera, it's so beautiful in the 60s. And this outfit just totally gives me that vibe. I, for some reason, felt like I had to style it with the hold all. It just went really well, um, but with the hat, this isn't even my wide brim hat. I feel like with the wide brim hat, oh, it will look so glamorous. Um, and then the wedges as well. And then finally, I just thought I'd show you guys how I will style my flossy fey dress. It looks so freaking adorable with this hat. I literally can't. It's just, oh my God, it looks so vintage. I'm honestly in love with this dress. Like it's really hard to pick a favorite because I love all the three dresses. For different reasons but i feel like this dress is the most impressive um just because of all of the details and the way that it fits like that cinched waist and the full skirt that just has so much movement in and the beautiful sleeves look how flattering the arm is 
um, the cuff, the way that it just lets you show off your bracelet, it's the perfect length, the ruching on the shoulder, the beautiful ladder lace and the pin tuck and the buttons, it's just full of charming details and it just looks so unique so I know I'm biased but I really really do adore this dress um, and look how cute it looks with the wedges so so summery little pink Prada bag oh my god I just can't wait to wear this on holiday I will pack properly tomorrow um, it's just kind of part of my process you know to throw everything on the floor because I like to get good visuals um, so I'll pack probably tomorrow after the gym. I'm also going to get my nails done tomorrow with Coco. I'm treating her to nails for her prom because I'm sadly missing it because it's the same day that I go away and I'm truly gutted. So we're going to go get our nails done together because um, mine are disgusting. They've all broken um, and chipped. So I need to get those done um, and fake tan, of course. Um, do some washing and pack. So you guys will hopefully come back and watch the vlog because I think I'm gonna vlog the trip. I was in two minds about vlogging. I was like, oh, I really just kind of want to have fun and enjoy it because vlogging does kind of take the fun sometimes out of the trip because like you're working and it's not a holiday. But then at the same time, I know that if I don't vlog, I'll be really disappointed in myself that I didn't vlog. So basically I think I'm just gonna vlog was the moral of that story. My hair looks so long. Don't you guys think it's grown really fast? I feel like it was up here a couple of months ago um anyway so i'm gonna vlog please come and watch the vlog <laughs> i'm just gonna make myself a lovely mint tea with my fortnum's tea bags they are so like over the top the tea bag is silk but i absolutely love it um and how cute is my little teacup it does have a saucer as well but i think this just came from like aliexpress or the other one do you guys remember maybe yes style um but it's so nice, I've washed it so many times in the dishwasher and it's still perfect. And now I really wish I'd got... I was just wondering like where to sit down and have a chat. And I realized that I never ever vlog in my bedroom. So I thought we could just sit down in here because I love this bedroom so much. So I'm gonna go through um, some of the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. So um, there's a lot of questions just asking me how I am, which is so, so nice to be asked just like, how are you? Um, and the truth is I'm really good. I'm really happy. I'm feeling very much like I need to lie down in like a metaphorical sense. It's been a really intense year for me. Like there's been so much change. Um, like this time last year, I was in the middle of renovating this flat. Like everything was totally upside down and so exciting. And then in September, I actually moved in and that was obviously my first time ever living away from my family. So that was like quite a big adjustment as well. Um, and then in February, I got Cinderella, which was amazing. But again, it's a really big adjustment, like having I know it sounds silly when it's a cat, but you're like responsible for another life in a way. And that really changed a lot for me um, and gave me like this extra added responsibility that I'd never really had before. She's also a very intensely needy cat. Um, and I feel like you need to see her. You haven't seen her in ages. She is here with me, obviously. Oh, here's my baby. She is just, look at her. She is so precious. Look at that face. I just love her so much like it's not even normal we are best friends like she literally follows me around the flat we're always together and just look at that face she is my life like literally my life so there was Cinderella of course um, and that was also quite an emotional thing for me as you guys know because of Nelly like just the whole Cinderella thing was emotional um, and then in the meantime like while all of this is going on the brand is also going on because this has been you know a year and a half um, in the works and I'd say like around March time is when I started to really feel like it was becoming real and starting to um, not panic but feel sort of tense and especially in May. May is when we had all our photo shoots and everything was really coming to fruition and it was like oh my god and I just feel like I've been very much like quite fraught and on edge for like quite a while now so now that it's I mean it's not over but now the big like secrets out and we've done it and we've had that big moment I just feel like oh so there are obviously so many questions about flossy and the launch um someone asked how are you feeling now post launch what a huge accomplishment thank you so much um yeah like i'm feeling super elated it, the launch went so well um i don't know if you guys know but like we sold out about 90 percent in the first evening which was crazy um and now i think we are 
completely sold out or very very near to being completely sold out so we're looking at stuff like restocks and um, also taking people's feedback on stuff like sizing um and that kind of thing so you know we're a brand new business and i just think for the first the first hurrah it just couldn't have been better really um so I'm absolutely thrilled and just excited for what's to come with the brand. So someone said, what was the design process for the dresses and what inspired you? And then somebody else asked, um, is it hard to explain to the designers the dress that you envisioned? Did they get it right instantly? So um, it's the whole process of designing the dresses was so much fun. So um, I think my inspiration for the Overture collection was I just really wanted those three dresses to immediately say my name and be three dresses that you would look at and instantly know that it was a freddy dress so i knew first of all i had to have a boucle dress because i feel like that's very much part of my signature style i also wanted to do a dress like this because i felt like for spring summer um this kind of linen detailed um slightly vintage vibe is very very me and then i also wanted like a really fun pink party showstopper which was the Nelly, um, and it was actually very easy to design this collection because I knew pretty much exactly what I wanted. I knew that I wanted the boucle to be something sleeveless that could be versatile, that you could wear lots of different ways in like really beautiful blush tones. The Nelly also was really easy because it just has all of the details that I personally love in dresses. Puff sleeves, really structured skirt, lovely and like flattering and fitted around the waist um, with some like embellished glamorous buttons so that was really easy I'd say the fey was probably the hardest because I knew like roughly what I wanted it to be I knew that I wanted it to be linen this color um really nice flattering sleeves again cinched waist full skirt but it was some of like these details like the ladder lace and the pin tucks that um the designers like helped me with like we kind of talked through some suggestions I was like I just feel like it needs some detail because I think originally when we designed the dress it was just plain so it had like the high neck and the fabric covered buttons but it didn't have any of this and I was just like it's cute but it needs more um so then um, uh, I was like chatting through with the designers, all sorts of things we could add. Um, and then we decided on this and I just think it's absolutely perfect. So the designers were amazing. They also said that I was amazing to work with because um, I knew exactly what I wanted. So it made life very easy for them because, you know, I kind of already knew, I just couldn't draw it basically. And with the next collection, again, I was very specific about what I wanted except for one dress, which I had like so many ideas of like elements that I wanted for the dress but I didn't necessarily know how they all went together. Um, and that was something that the designers were amazing with. And they gave me like three options of all of like the things I said I wanted in like say slightly different places um, with different sort of color options out of a palette that I had suggested. Um, and yeah, so it's been like really collaborative, but a lot of it has come from me. Like I would say probably 80% has come from me. And then the designers are just able to sort of finesse my ideas that can sometimes be a bit like scattered. <laughs> so someone asked, do you have investors in Flossie? And the answer is not at the moment, no. Um, and that was a personal choice. I think for the first collection, I just really wanted to be as independent as possible um, financially. And I had the money basically to be able to do that, to invest in myself, which was always what I was waiting for and why, partially why um, it's taken so long for me to do something like this because I wanted to be able to afford to do it properly and not necessarily have to involve outside parties who will always want something more back. Um, and I'm really, really proud that I've been able to do that because I'd say that's quite like a unique position to be able to be in, um, to not need anyone's help financially. But I think it is something that I might have to think about in future just because I honestly, didn't really expect or like I didn't know what to expect really with how many people would want the dresses and the truth is I need to make twice as many dresses next time as I did this time because the demand was so so high probably technically like triple or quadruple but at the same time I don't really want to go down that like mass produced path um so I need to make like double the dresses meaning it will cost twice as much to do and that's where I'm a bit like I'm I'm kind of walking on a tightrope there and I don't want to be doing that so potentially for the future um I will need to get an investor on board but I think I won't have any trouble doing that to be honest when you look at like 
how it performed so well on launch day um, and how much you guys love it. Someone asked expectations versus reality with how people reacted to flossing. Um, I guess I, I really tried to not have too many expectations because I didn't want to be disappointed. Um, I obviously knew like in my heart that you guys would love it because it's it's everything that I love and it's everything that you love and I just knew that we would really connect on that um but I didn't want to give myself like high hopes on how much we would sell for example so I did kind of know that everyone would love it and obviously that was a huge relief um when everyone did but in terms of sales like I didn't really have expectations on purpose because I didn't want to be let down especially as the price point is higher um I didn't really expect that many people to buy them so quickly because I feel like it is a decision that you would think about um for a bit longer but I guess people are just super excited and I'm very very grateful everyone has started actually like receiving their orders and I'm having loads of people message me and it's like the best feeling ever so someone asked would you be interested in selling your brand in a store like Selfridges in the future and the answer is like of course that would literally be a dream um I've also had loads of people ask if I'll actually have a shop and that's a definite hard no because um I just think my collections are too small to justify like the huge costs that would come with actually having premises um but being in somewhere like Selfridges or Fenix um is a completely different story just having like a little flossy rail in the like designer boutique section would be a dream come true and who knows? I'll just answer a few more flossy questions. So someone said, were there any hiccups in flossy? And there was hardly any hiccups, to be honest. Every single stage of the process, I was just like, oh, I can't believe how well this is going. Like, I'm a little bit of a pessimist sometimes with things like this, and I was expecting there to be a lot more, like, heartache or things going wrong and stresses, but I do have such an amazing team um, working with me on my brand um, and every step of the way has just been seamless and wonderful. Um, the one thing that didn't go, I'd say according to plan, was um, my packaging. So when I got my packaging through, I had the beautiful box and the labels in the dress, but the thing that I absolutely hated and could not approve was the swing tag. So that's the swinging tag that you would like pull out of the dress. It was just very, very basic. And I really wanted something that had a very luxurious experience, something very beautiful with like a personalized message from me, um, something that just felt special that you wouldn't want to throw away. So that actually took a lot of development and the brand was actually ready to go in terms of the dresses back in April but the swing tags are actually what set us back so we couldn't end up launching until June. And I know some people think I'm mad, but I just wanted every detail to be perfect before I was happy to go ahead and I was willing to delay my launch um, because of that. And for that reason, we've actually had to push my summer collection back to next summer. Um, so that's all like designed and we've actually begun the sampling process for that. And honestly, guys, it's the most exciting thing in the world that like, you are going to love it. Um, but that was like, the biggest hiccup but now I'm so happy with the swing tags like they are so beautiful if you've ordered a dress let me know if you liked the message when my mum read it she cried and I was like that's a bit much but um yeah apart from that everything everything was so smooth surprisingly smooth oh guys I just had to take a little break to show you my baby she just always like finds a little spot next to me whatever I'm doing and just curls up next to me and falls asleep She's so precious. Look at her little sooty tail and her little sooty paws. Oh, oh look at her beans. Oh, my baby, I'm sorry. Am I disturbing you? Oh, she's just the most precious angel. There's a lot of JJ questions. How are you and JJ? Is he moving in? Are you still together? And yeah, the answer is JJ and I are good. Um, he obviously like doesn't feature a lot in my videos. He never has. Um, so I can understand people wanting to know how we are. Um, it's been quite a hard month for us because he's been traveling with work so much over the last like five weeks. He'll be gone for a week and then back for like four to five days and then gone again. And then even when he is back, like I'm so busy that we haven't been spending like that much time together so I've been really really missing him and um, but he's back um he's literally coming back on the day that I'm going away for a week so I'll see him when I get back and then he's pretty much done for the summer so hopefully we can have a lovely summer together um but it's fine like I'm quite used to it my dad is in the music industry so like growing up my dad was always away for like um 
weeks at a time with work so for me it's quite normal and like I always knew that JJ and I were never going to have like a traditional nine to five life so it's not something that bothers me but obviously I do miss him when he's away um so does Cinderella but you know what they say absence makes the heart grow fonder and about moving in like it's really weird because JJ practically lives here with me like we're together all of the time um but in terms of like officially moving in and i know this sounds ridiculous but honestly there is no room in my flat for jj's things like literally none he has like a really small section of one of my wardrobes in my studio that he can put his things in when he comes and stays for a while um but he just can't officially like move all his stuff in because there's no room i think like it's just not possible and I'm just like not willing at the moment to um, make the space because there's just like nothing wrong with the setup of how it is at the moment. Like JJ comes and he stays and he's here and he practically lives here and then every so often he goes home just to like, you know, get some new clothes or something like that and check in with his family. Um, but yeah, I kind of don't think there are any immediate plans um obviously it would be nice i miss him when he's gone um but this is a girl's flat at the moment <laughs> just me and cindy okay someone asked me what my favorite musical is at the moment and it's so funny jj literally pointed this out the other day he was like you get so obsessed with things like when you discover something you just get all obsessed with it and it's so true like this time last year i think i was obsessed with the prince of egypt and now my current obsession is bonnie and clyde Oh my god so i got offered like free tickets to go and i wasn't like super excited i'm i'm so stupid to be honest because whenever there's like a musical that i don't know i'm like mm, don't want to go it's gonna be rubbish and then i go and i get obsessed with it the same thing happened with the prince of egypt so i took my mum to go with me to see bonnie and clyde and i was a bit like mm, i can't really be bothered to go i'm not excited and when we were sat in the audience after every number we just looked at each other and we were like it was so good and I've literally been back twice since and I would have gone back a third time but I physically don't have time um, because I'm going away and it actually closes on Saturday and I'm going away on Friday and there's just no way that I can make it back again but it was amazing um, and I cannot stop listening to the soundtrack so that's my favourite musical at the moment I just cannot stop singing it as well like all around the flat my poor neighbour's ears. Someone said, personally, I miss some of Freddie My Love's old school type of videos like decluttering and organising. Um, I feel like I did a decluttering video not too long ago, um, but it is interesting with YouTube to see like where it's going and how things are changing. Um, and I do sometimes miss my old style of content, but it kind of feels harder to do that in the flat. I feel like in general, people are gravitating more towards these kinds of videos that are a little bit more natural, um, less like set up as it were so i'm just trying to go with what i think people would like to watch but as always guys um your feedback is so important to me so i'd love to know like what you feel like you're missing from my videos what you're enjoying that i'm doing um yeah it's always good to know because at the end of the day i'm doing it for you <laughs> oh my gosh someone has said do you hire a cleaning service to help you clean your flat or cindy's litter box your flat looks so clean um I actually don't have a cleaner and I really really want one. I did get a cleaner um, a couple of times when I first moved in but I'm not gonna lie guys I found it really awkward um, and I feel like maybe that's something I need to get over because I would really like a cleaner like I don't have time to clean as often as I'd like um, because I'm so busy so usually I pay Coco to clean my flat because obviously she's 16 like she wants pocket money but she doesn't do a very thorough job and I end up just like going over it myself anyway but I don't know I just felt weird when I had the cleaner like the cleaner was cleaning and I was just like sat there like lady muck do you know what I mean it just felt a bit awkward but at the same time I didn't want to go out because I was like I'm not sure I trust someone in my flat without me there so I felt like it was a bit of a conundrum so no I either clean my own flat or Coco cleans it and Cindy's litter box um well I'm gonna give you guys an update on that soon uh we're currently in the process of trying something and it's going really well but I don't want to um you know jinx it so I'm gonna keep you updated on that I wanted to answer this one because I thought it was funny. Someone said, have you had your teeth contoured? They are so beautiful. Thank you. Um, and no, these are au naturel. Um, I never really thought about teeth before. I just thought that like, you just needed braces and that was it. But I know lots of people um, get their teeth, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Bonded, bonding something like that to get like a nice shape and I guess I kind of like took my teeth for granted but I have been quite lucky like 
with the shape of my teeth. Um, my front tooth is actually chipped a little bit, like a tiny bit. Um, so I was wondering if I should get that, like, um, get that bonding stuff put on the chipped tooth. Uh, but no, apart from that, they are all my own. Okay, I'm gonna answer one more question um, because I need to get ready to go out and I feel like it's quite a relevant question. And it says, I feel like you stress so much about your work and outside life, do you? And the answer is yes. Like I am an incredibly highly strung person and at this point it is to my detriment. I would say though that it is work related. Like I don't really stress about my outside life. Um, if you mean just like non-work life, meeting with friends, family, stuff like that's my refuge that's my escape and that's stuff that I find really really enjoyable and sort of like healing in a way um but yeah I stress so much with work and I feel like it's got worse as time has gone on and like a few years ago I used to think this will get easier like I'll have more experience you know I'll be so used to it and I won't feel like this but actually I've got worse which is awful um and I find myself feeling like kind of fraught and stressed a lot of the time and it's something that I'd really like to deal with but I don't really know how. Um, I've always been this way though, I'm a Virgo and I'm a perfectionist, I've been a perfectionist literally my whole life ever since I was little. Obviously like my ethic, my work ethic and my perfectionism is what's got me to where I am today so I can't really say that it's like a bad thing but at the same time sometimes it is bad because I think it affects me negatively. Um, like when things don't go to plan or when things aren't perfect. I find that actually like extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. And sometimes I feel like physically ill, which is not good. So um, yeah, I don't know. Something I need to work on. If anyone has any tips um, on dealing with perfectionism and stress and just being type A and highly strung, then I would love to hear any advice. Um, but also, you know, I'm dealing with it and I have lots of, you know, really lovely things to show for it that I'm so grateful for that make me really happy, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready now to go out. Um, I'm meeting my best friend and we are going to see Pretty Woman um, at the Savoy Theatre, which I'm really excited about. I saw it like three years ago when it first came out, but um, I can't really remember anything about it. I feel like at the time I was half asleep. I was so tired or jet lagged. We're also going to a nice restaurant, which will be lovely. And I'll try and vlog a little bit, but obviously, you know, I'm with my friend. I don't wanna vlog too much. Do you not just listen to that? Oh my god, the whisker twitch. Oh. And her little snore. Oh my god. She's just scrumptious. Her little snore. She's so precious. Oh my goodness, guys, I also just had to show you my peony. Aren't they so pretty? I'm, oh my god, they're just the best flower and I'm just so happy I've had so many this season to make the most of it. Um, these were a celebratory gift from Flowered, which was so, so nice of them to send me like literally one of my favourite flowers ever and look how sumptuous and full they are. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Um, and they did actually give me a discount code to share with you guys um, for £10 off your first order with flowered over 40 pounds. Um, and that's just Freddy 10. So guys, you have to make the most of it because look at these incredible flowers. I'm telling you, flowered is literally the best florist that I've ever seen. Um, they just look like candy floss. <laughs> okay, I've decided that I'm definitely wearing the cocoa tonight. Little plug, look at the beautiful, beautiful fabric. I just love the colors and the buttons. So glamorous and I'm going to um, layer this gorgeous blouse that I just got from And Other Stories underneath. Um, I know it's similar to ones I have but the fabric is just divine. It has like a really slight sheen um, and it will just look so pretty under the cocoa. I do need to give it a little steam though. Okay guys this will be the last outfit I show you today because I'm about to head out but here is the cocoa. Oh my god my first time wearing the cocoa in a vlog and I'm literally obsessed with how it looks with the blouse and the big bow, like that just so adds to it and it's good temperature wise as well because it's not like a wear the cocoa sleeveless kind of day today. Um, but yeah, it's so, so cute. And I'm wearing it with my coach bag. Honestly, this coach pillow Madison, ever since they sent it to me in, when was it, March or April, it hasn't left my arm. It just goes with everything. 
and I just think it's so cool and it's the best bag because it fits so much inside but it doesn't look like big and bulky. I absolutely love it. And then I'm also going for my little faux leather ankle boots just to kind of make the look a bit more like cool I guess than super girly with the bow. Um, but yeah, I just love it so much and I feel so proud going out in one of my very own dresses. Oh my god guys, I'm so excited though because I literally just got the news um, today that we are going to look to extend the sizing of flossy, um, one smaller and one bigger, so like making the size range from this to this, um, but we need to get a feel for demand because there is like minimum order quantities when you um, when you make more dresses. So if you guys are interested in getting one of the dresses in either an extra extra small, which will be the equivalent of a UK four to six, or an extra 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 large, which will be a UK 18 to 20, then please do go to our website, flossybyfreddy.co.uk um, and register your interest on the dress page you can literally like choose your size and put your email address in um then we know that you're interested and we know how many we need to make oh i just feel so cute in my dress and i'm so excited to go and see dun 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 pretty woman walking down the street <laughs> <laughs>